Right guys and welcome to another video and we finally have another WWE unboxing after a long time because many, not many good figures have came out but I made a ringside order like a week and a bit ago and it actually came today uh, there's two figures and there's two elites uh, that I really wanted um, and I was surprised ringside got one of them in because uh, it was kind of exclusive so I don't have to pay loads so uh, yeah but uh, I didn't get any custom fees on this so it must have slipped through thankfully uh, this should have got custom fees but it didn't, the postman just delivered it randomly but uh, yeah so let's just get into it as you can see this isn't my usual unboxing space because I'm filming in the ring so and it's the money of the back ladder match so you know there's kind of a lot of stuff going on so I can't really like change it in that uh, my tripod won't go any higher well, I guess that height kind of works actually yeah, that, there we go, sorry about that, but, yeah, so, let's just get to it, and, where is the, where did I open it, here, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, I almost cut myself, but I finished school today, so, that's it, uh, finally finished sixth form, that shitty place. So, yeah, so this is a good thing to come back to, uh, there it is. Oh, that damaged packaging though. So first up we have the Target exclusive, first time in the line, Alexander Wolf. It's going to look nicely with my sanity. I do have a Killian Dane on the way to finally complete it. So that's awesome. Uh, don't know about the packaging right side, but really cool. Interchangeable hands, awesome attire. Uh, he's on NXT UK now, so that's really cool. And next we have a brand new Top Talents Finn Balor, and uh, I really needed this. So I'm not a big fan of the rainbow attire, even though I'm using that in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Because um, I didn't think I'd get this on time. But yeah, this Finn Balor looking awesome. I really want to pick up the AJ and the Rollins. Uh, only with the Rollins recently, because I did, don't have the Elite 52 anymore. And I like that attire, I want to do a head swap. And it comes with a cool shirt and AJ, just because the head scan is updated. So, yeah, Finn Balor in the grey attire from Extreme Rules, I believe. And, um, let me just adjust this. And Alexander Wolf, so yeah, two awesome figures right here. And uh, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and open them, right, guys? So, here are the figures out with the packaging. And I must say, these are two very nicely looking figures, starting with the ballot. I took the terrible rubber jacket off. Um, I do have a cloth one which I'll actually put on and show you guys what it looks like. But just like the last fin ballot, he comes with the open hands, which are fair enough. But these open hands, uh, I really don't like because at least with those, you can use them for his entrance. But I wish they sort of gave him fists or something, but uh, yeah, this Finn Balor is probably my favourite one. I've only got one other non-painted one, and it's that rainbow one. Um, but yeah, I do like this grey attire, and uh, it's looking really nice. The head scan, I think we really do need an updated Finn head scan, like with the beard. Um, so that would be nice. But I love the silver attire, very plain, but effective. So I think that looks really nice, and obviously the ripped torso is a plus. Uh, next one into Alexander Wolf, uh, another awesome looking figure. Uh, I would have sucked to not have this, but um, the mohawk doesn't really match the beard, which is one of my problems. Uh, I'm having a hard time moving this leg, but it's alright. But uh, again, with the rubber jacket and these hands, so similar hands to Bala, and then the Balaclava, so pretty similar accessories. Uh, but the attire is looking nice. Sucks what they did to Sanity, honestly. They could have been a top team, but um, yeah, this is a cool figure anyway. I'm sure BFW will use them right. Um... But yeah, I did notice on the box it says Smackdown down here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Were they, were they even, I think they had one pay-per-view match. Um, I know they were Extreme Rules on the pre-show, then following that tag team match at Survivor Series. I think that's about it for old sanity. But he's in um, NXT UK now, so that'll be cool to see him on the next TakeOver, hopefully. What's, what's the name of that team? I can't even remember the name. But he's with Walter and that, so that's pretty cool. So he's obviously doing well for himself. And... Uh, Balor, I think Balor's, you don't really see Balor complaining that much on social media, so I think he's just there to like get his money, and he's happy, so yeah, can't, he can't really complain, even though I'm sure everyone would like to see him pushed better, but I uh, will grab that cloth jacket and put it on. So here's Balor with my custom cloth jacket from an Undertaker robe, and it looks pretty good, a bit big, I am getting another one, uh, with another with a trade I'm doing with someone from Mexico, so that should arrive soon, uh, but um, yeah, I think this looks really much better than the rubber one anyway. But uh, really cool Finn Balor with the cloth jacket. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Don't worry, I'm not going fully Marvel. I still love wrestling. But uh, 
yeah, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and uh, comment what you thought of the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.